what's up everyone, TJ here. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at an all new board on the Capital lineup for the 21-22 season, and it's called the Pathfinder. This board's gonna come in a reverse camber and camber dominant version, and today we're gonna be talking about the rocker version. Let's get into it. All right, the Pathfinder is gonna be a freestyle and park focused board on the Capital lineup. And the rocker dominant version that I have right here is basically gonna replace the horoscope on the Capital line. So if you were a fan of that board, you're gonna love this one. It's basically just a rebranded version of it. Still gonna have that same feel that you know and love. Let's start off just going through the shape and the tech in this board. So obviously it's a true twin board. It's gonna ride exactly the same in either direction, regular or switch, and it has blunted tips. So if you look at the nose and tail of the board, there's actually not a lot of material outside the contact points. That's a nice shape for park riding, not having to worry about a long nose and tail hooking up on the snow or on rail features or jumps or anything like that. And it's also gonna give this board a bit of a longer effective edge. So the actual length of the edge that's in contact with the snow, it's gonna be a little bit longer for the size of this board. I rode it in a 153 and that's just gonna to help to give you a bit of a more in control feel when you have this board on edge, a little more stability since you have more of that rail in contact with the snow. Like I said, this has a rocker dominant shape and the way Capita does it is it's actually flat camber from the outside of the front insert packs to the outside of the rear insert packs. And then you've got rocker going out to the nose uh, where it really kicks up and matches on the tail as well. So overall gonna have a rocker dominant shape, but that flat camber is gonna help to give you a really predictable, manageable feel when you have this board flat base. That rocker in the nose and tail is also gonna to help to make those contact points a little less catchy. You're gonna find an extruded base in this board. So what that means for you is less maintenance. You're not gonna to have to worry about waxing as often to maintain a consistent glide. It's also gonna be easier to repair if you get a scratch in it that you wanna throw some P-TEX in as well as help Capita to offer this board at that low price point. And granted, I did ride this board brand new with the factory wax, but it had a really smooth glide out there. I was really happy with how it felt. Tons of speed for the rail features and tons of speed for the jumps as well. It felt really good. As far as the flex goes, I'd say it's on the softer side of medium, and it's a really fun jibby park flex. You know, this board is pressable, it's buttery, but it's not a noodle. It still has some energy to give back to you, but that definitely helps give this board that easy to control feel. And one thing I wanna call out in combination with that camber profile is that it's really easy to get a small press going, just leaning forward a little bit or leaning into the tail a little bit, and then you feel the board start to stiffen up and you can kind of start to load tension and energy into the board to try to get pop for nollies and ollies and things like that but it definitely makes a nice platform with that rocker profile to lean into for presses and butters and it's still going to give you some good pop on the exit and that's a really fun feel for park riding jibbing butters all that kind of stuff it is going to be a little bit of a compromise when it comes to carving this is more of a mellow cruiser type of board when it comes to exploring outside of the park still a lot of fun out there but it's not a high speed charger as you start to get this board up to speed you're going to get a little chatter in the tips you know that's just the nature of things when you have that softer flex and the rocker tips so it's not that precise locked in feel uh, but still a lot of fun out there looking for side hits cruising around that kind of stuff but when it comes to park riding and doing freestyle focused stuff, I think that's where this board's really gonna shine for you. It does lean more to the jib and rail side of things when it comes to park riding. If you're looking for something that'll help you out getting those taller presses, working on those more technical rail tricks and things like that, this is definitely gonna be a good choice. Can still handle larger features, but as you start to step things up, you're gonna wanna focus on landing centered. There's not a ton of stability in the nose and tail and can definitely wash out on you if you land a little bit back seat particularly in the higher impact situations like the gap out rail features and bigger jumps. Had a lot of fun on the small to medium jumps on this board, but as you start to step things up, like even jump four on the medium line at copper is pretty big and uh, it's not gonna have a ton of stability for you if you do end up landing back seat. If you guys are wondering about powder, those rocker tips will definitely offer a little bit of a benefit compared to like a full camber true twin board. But if you do take it in deep snow, I'd probably shift my stance back just to help you out a little bit to stay on top of that soft snow. Uh, you don't really get much of a benefit on these true twin park boards for powder. 
Overall, I found like a springy, energetic feel out of the Pathfinder. It's easy to control, a lot of fun leaning into presses and butters, fun cruising around looking for side hits and things like that as well. I also really liked it on the rails out of copper. It was sliding really good, had a comfortable, natural feel to it. And I really enjoy that flat camber between the feet. You know, it helps to lock into features when you're going 50-50, feels good going sideways as well. So that was a big highlight for me, a lot of fun for progression on rail features. With the compromise being stability, carving at higher speeds, as well as landings on the bigger features and bigger jumps in the park. And one last call out, this board's gonna come in a ton of sizes, basically every size from 145 up to 162. Comes in a bunch of wide sizes as well, so if you have a larger boot size, there's definitely a Pathfinder out there that'll fit you well. And I think that about does it. If you're a more experienced rider, it's gonna be a really fun jibby park board, gonna be great for dialing in those rail tricks or trying to learn some new stuff. If you're a more beginner rider, this could be a great choice for you as well. Coming in at that low price point, has a nice manageable flex, easy to control rocker dominant profile. Definitely a great board for progression if you're looking for something like that, something to learn the fundamentals, whether that's just snowboarding in general or park riding. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, definitely check out the Capita Pathfinder. I'm gonna have it linked down in the description below if you wanna read more about it. And if you've had a chance to ride this board or you feel like I left something out, leave me a comment down below. Give this video a like if you got some value and it helped you out. Make sure to subscribe for some more snowboard reviews and hit me up on Instagram. If you got any questions, you wanna see some behind the scenes with the reviews, you can find me there at Board Archive. Thank you guys so much, I appreciate all of you and I'll see you in a new one soon. Later guys.